guys, this is Mike from Ridge Break Gaming, and it is freezing the fuck out here. Well, let's play Final Fantasy IX. Yeah, it's freezing as fuck out there, so let's go inside of Mount Gulag. Last time we arrived here on the Lost Continent and checked out East Gaza. Eco is here somewhere, and we have to find her because obviously, well, Kuja kidnapped her in the last episode. So there you go. Now, since the last episode, I did get some AP grinding in for Vivi and Steiner. I got the, um, Fyraga, Blazaga, Thundaga for Vivi on his Octagon Rod and the Magic Break from, um, Steiner's Flame Saber. So there you go. I also equipped Vivi with the Red Hat because, as you saw in the last episode, it raises Fire ele Elemental Attack. Really good for Vivi's new Fyraga spell. The benefit to the Octagon uh, octagon rod is that it also absorbs water and wind elemental attacks and it also raises water at the same time so yeah really good for vv's on um, water spell as well now um shout out to final fantasy fandom.com because i'm using some of their maps for today's episode because yeah mount gulluck is a little bit of a pain to navigate it's one of those dungeons that you could potentially get lost in if you're me so yeah, that's just how I am. In the case, let's see what we got today. Word. Woo! Big guy! How's it going? In the case, new enemy here. Worm Hydras. Let's see. Worm Hydra, level 37. 4,846 HP. He's annoying! And very, very ugly. So, there you go. Alright, um... Gotta be really, really careful with this guy. He has a new blue magic spell that we can learn from him, so let's try and get that right now. Earth shake! Shake that earth! Oh! Ooh, ooh, wow, that was close. <laughs> that might have been enough, though. Whoa! God damn! Well, I got trance, though. All right, let's see if Kina's cook can cook this Hydra. Hydra bacon, anyone? Oh, okay, we'll go ahead. Then. Are you done? Cool, thank you. Cook that bitch! Oh, num num num. Yeah! Bad breath, bitch. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh, baby! Alright, we got magic, or the fail. Bad breath. It causes confusion, poison, darkness, slow, and many in a single target, or to a single target, and has a 40% success rate. So, there you go. It's not as great as Final Fantasy VII's bad breath, but take what you can get. It's, it's there. So, there you go. Alright, let me pull up my map again. There you go. Perfect. Alright. But yeah, Bad Breath is actually still useful though, despite the terrible accuracy on it. Final Fantasy VII has some of the best blue magic spells. It's like seriously, that version's White Winds, like come on, you cannot top Final Fantasy VII's White Winds. I'm sorry Final Fantasy IX, but Final Fantasy VII has the best White Wind. I mean, seriously, I explained this earlier in the game, but it's like, okay, so you have Cloud with like, like, let's say 9,000 HP. And everyone else is like really low in HP. Have Cloud use White Wind. Boom. Everyone is healed for 9,000. That's how fucking sexy it is. I love. Whoa! <coughs> what the fuck was that? Okay. That was random. Huh. But I'm sure it has no importance whatsoever, so just ignore. Then, oh, come on, dude. Well, actually, this is a good opportunity to test our new bad breath. So, here we go. Get a Tic Tac. Now, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this off screen. I equipped um, my party members with both um, antibody and um, body temp. Because a lot of enemies in here like to spam um, mustard bomb, heat, and frost. And freeze. So, yeah, needless to say. Oh, uh, where is Bad Breath at? Yeah, and watch out for that flame attack. It is dangerous. Bad Breath! Damn! Look at all those status elements. <laughs> yeah, go on, bitch. It's not gonna work because... 
because I have body to everyone. Die! Clear Blitz! Yeah, Flare Sword, but Flare Blitz sounds sexier. So, there you go. I mean, come on! Flare Blitz! Flare Blitz! It sounds cool, doesn't it? I know you think so, so don't, so don't pretend like you don't think it's cool, viewers. Flare Blitz. Oh, baby, I love the sound of that. Blaze! No, no, no. Not Blaze down. Not yet. Otherwise than that, though, all right, let's get through the rest of this room. All right, now, in this section, we got this well here. And we got a random encounter. Oh, my God. Oh! Ooh! Rafes! I was waiting for your ass, where ass is. In any case, there's only one guy I'm interested in, and that is the guy on the left. Or right, depending on your perspective. The guy that has the blue candle. He has a new blue magic spell that we can learn. Let me take a look. They should have around the same HP, though. Um, level 36, 4,686 HP. Um, they are with your fire! So, as such. Or, I, at least I think they are. Are you done spamming shit? Thank you. I hope this doesn't kill them, because I need to weaken the blue dude. And oh yeah, um, Devil's Candle has a chance of inflicting Mustard Bomb from the red guy or Frost from the blue guy. Frost is the blue magic spell that we're obviously going for. Okay, that was good. Alright, that might be good enough. Uh, Alright, let's, let's see if that was enough. Hurry up! Alright, but your best wasn't good enough. No. Hurry up, bitches! That still that still may not be enough, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Dealer's choice. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, just get an elixir one. Here comes Doom! Huh. God, I hate that spell. Hurry up, bitch! Yeah, we already know. One! Shit baskets! Alright. You know what? Kill that bitch! Thank you, Sina! Alright, now then. Let's, see, let's get a Phoenix down on BB. Hurry up! How are these bitches faster than me? What? I'm like much higher level than they are. What the fuck is this? Like, fuck, dude! Uh oh. Please don't hit Vivi! He hit me. Fuck you! Fuck you! I just got him up! Asshole. Alright, let's try this again. Pina, Goblin Punch. Damn, still not enough. Alright. Give me me up. I'm not wasting all this time with this. Let's just hurry this up. Yes! Finally! God! Like, why did that take so damn long? Huh. Luckily, we almost have almost all the blue magic in the game. Cause Fuck! That took way too much time. Way too much time. And of course, Zidane and... Um, Steiner got both their trances in that fight, which wasted their trances. <laughs> Whatever. In any case, Frost is basically freeze, but for, you know, Kena. Basically causes freeze on an, on an enemy. So, there you go. Oh my god, man. Oh my Arceus. In any case, keep this well in mind for later. We'll be coming back here, obviously, for plot progression. So, there you go. All right, before we do, however, let's come in here. Hmm. Anything in here? Does someone used to live here or something? There's a lot of shit here. Hmm. Well, I guess the monsters live here now. Oh, not you again. Take the hit, bitch. You are not welcome here. 
Leave this place. You're not in you're not in great danger, but you will be if you don't leave this place. Or I can kill you first. Die! Woo! God, I love that max damage speed thievery. Fuck. It pays to be a thief. <laughs> right, Zidane? Otherwise than that though. There you go. Man, these enemies are putting a smack dab on me. Maybe I should have brought um dagger with me after all. Probably not. The well doesn't work the well didn't work until I pulled the lever three times. Larry the mole? Oh yeah, didn't that bishop guy in the last episode say something about mole people living here once? Huh. Maybe they went extinct or something, because there's no moles here. The only thing that's here is monsters. Lots of them! New enemy here! Grenade! Ba bomb Yeah, they're basically bombs. Level 36, 4,685 HP. So, yeah, if they were only one level higher, one level higher, I would have been able to fucking kick their ass with level 5 death. But, of course, no, no, it's just not happening. Watch out for their cannon attacks, they, it, it's basically gravity, um, gravity. <laughs> it's basically gravity elemental. So, yeah. Okay, die! Saga! Not enough. Try again! This time with double black. There you go. Lazaga Sword! Boom! There you go. You see, viewers, when you shout shit, you get shit done. It worked in Dragon Ball. You shout a lot, you get XC sex, um, extra sexy power-ups and shit. X Goku. It worked for him! And Vegeta. And... Frieza and well, Cell kind of absorbed a whole bunch of people, so I guess you could say him shouting did a little bit of, of help. That and that and sticking his needle inside of inside of places. <laughs> oh yeah. Cell was I don't know. I love Cell. I love Cell to pieces. He will always be my favorite DBZ villain. <laughs> my husband though loves Frieza though. He's a major, he's a major Frieza fan, but I am a Cell fan through and through. The guy just has so much class and style, and he had one of the best final boss moves of anything. Like his confrontation with Gohan, oh god, it was just it's history. His Whoa! Recommend that you get it from the red dragons here. 
trust me on this. It's really good. Oh, um, Twister! Let's see here. There you go. Does what you think it does. Win elemental damage on all enemies. So, there you go. We only got one more blue magic spell to get. One more. One more, and... Well, Kena will be epic to the max. Even though Kena is already epic to the max. So, there you go. Alright, let's see here. Nothing? Of course, there's nothing. Alright, I'll meet you back where that well is. Alright, viewers, I'm back. Back at the well. And running past the well. Ooh, another Moogle. Damn, I got like two Moogles in here. How's it going? Ah, Moolin, perfect. Got a letter for you. A letter from Magrika? Let's see. Artemia rubbed it all over himself. The machine needs, to, needs it to function properly, Kubo. I know, I know how he must have felt. I used it on myself once too. It's a wonderful thing, but... Huh? I see, so that's why we haven't been receiving mail lately, Kubo. What did Artemian rub on himself? Don't answer that, viewers. In any case... Okay, Mug... Mugtaka? There you go. Was Mugtaka a Moogle in here? Uh... Damn, I wasn't even paying attention to that. Mugtaka. Let me take, let me take a quick look. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah Mugtaka is in here. It is that other Moogle that we saw on the other end. So, all screen, I'm going to go and deliver this letter to him. I'll meet you there. All right, viewers, I'm back. Now, let's deliver this letter to Mugtaka. Let's see here. Our team man used the item on himself, Kubo. I wanted to go to Mug Cent Mug Central to complain, but where the heck is it located, Kubo? I never even thought about it until now, Kubo. Come to think of it, I don't really know much about Mugnet Central. How do you guys not know about it? Wow, that is sad. And you guys are delivering mail to each other? Mm. All right, viewers of Mac. Oh boy. Yeah, Mula doesn't have any new mail to deliver, by the way. So yeah. Once you deliver that mail to Magtika, that's it for this area. So we just have to find the next Moogle to complete, you know, we'll continue the chain of events for the, you know, Mugnet side quest. Oh, we got a new enemy here, Red Verpoles. Now, these guys are similar to the Green Verpoles that you can encounter on the world map on the Lost Continent. I'm, I am assuming their stats are basically all the same, but weird. The red ones are obviously different than the ones on the blue um, on the open. I don't have to, I don't have their stats on me because for some odd reason, uh, my beast theory doesn't list their stats. But essentially, if they are red, I would assume they are with two ice. So yeah, try and Blazaga, have Kina use Twister, and that should be enough. So there you go. Hurry up! There you go. Damn, I think I think one of those twisters did like over 8,000 damage. God damn, Kina. Kina is a house. A brick house. Literally. Wait. Wait, wait, what? I heard that you should pull the lever down a second time. Who made the mole? Hmm. I would like to meet the mole people that actually live here. But we never but we never get to meet them. That's sad. But in any case, we get the guy. Really, dude? The Gaia gear. Oh, boy. Oh, not these bastards. Uh-uh. Already got, already got what I wanted from you. So you can fuck off. Yeah. That's... And let's go for Thunder. There you go. Finish them all! There you go. You already showed them off already. I ain't wasting time with that. But yeah, yeah. We got the guy in gear. We're good to go. Alright, let's get out of here. We gotta get on back to the well now. So, yeah, that's our next destination. Oh. Again? You guys are so fucking persistent! Alright, viewers, I'm back. Back at the well. Now, remember what that um those notes said? Yeah, we gotta pull the lever! Down. Three times. One, two, and three. There we go. Nice. Now we can climb down. Climb on my rope! There you go. Not that rope, of course. 
Alright, now let's get out of here. Where's the exit? Bruh. Whoa! Dude, go fuck yourself! Alright, viewers of Mac. Oh man. That's the last red dragon, by the way, so I hope you got I hope you got Twister. Mike, it's Eco. Kucha and, and the Black Mages are there too. Nuts. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. You can also steal elixirs from the red dragons. So, there you go. Get them. Eco! That must be the extraction spell. Nuts. Yeah, here we go again! I don't want of infinite life, of infinite powers! Arise from thy eternal slumber! Depart from thy endless weight! Let there be life! Let there be light! The time is now! The time has come! Odin of the dark! No! No! Not Odin. We already had that sequence. Dagger? Uh, yeah, may maybe she shouldn't have come here. W wait, Dagger! Yeah, I know, I know, I get it. You're pissed off. We all know how you feel. Just leave this to us, okay? Yeah, please stay here and out of danger. Come on, let's go! I wish I could help Eco, even though I know I can, but I just can't. Uh, then again, if Dagger is in your party, she will still fight, so... I think. That was odd. Odd that was. Did it not work? We failed again! Again we have failed! Did you make some mistake? Make mistake I did not. Yours the mistake must be. I made no mistake at all. The truth do you speak? Of course I speak the truth. Will you two just shut the fuck up? Yeah, thank you, Kuja. It's his fault. His fault it is. The one who messed up is you. I said shut up already. God damn. I don't want to hear your excuses. Continue. I sense power from her. Continue the extraction immediately. Continuing further will endanger the subject's life. Only at the age of 16 can I don't be extracted. Sweet 16. But why 16, though? That's odd. You two just don't get it. I need an Eidolon more powerful than Alexander. An Eidolon with the power to bury Garland. Does Kuja have some kind of grudge on Garland? His powers are so incredible, I cannot even come close. He's stronger than Kuja? I must destroy him before Terra's plan is activated, or my soul will no longer be my own. Terra's plan? So not your own? What the fuck is he going on about? Who cares if she lives? I want that Eidolon! Wow! So you're willing to kill a little girl just to get what you want? Damn, you are so weak. And a bastard. Hmm. Ah, not so fast! Mug! Kubo! Where did that come from? Her dress? <laughs> You, get out of our way! Master! Well? Kupo, her pet Moogle is interfering with the extraction process. Certain that, that, are we that it caused the failure? Kill the Roy! We're running out of time! Ah, can never hire good help. Kupo, Mug? No, Mug, hide behind me! What? What's Mug doing? Mug? What is it? Eco, thank you for everything. Huh? What are you saying, Mug? Don't worry, Kubo. I'll always be with you, Kubo. What is she going on about? We gotta get down here. Come on. C Mug! This way? Oh, shit! Mug! We will put you to death! Put you to death, we will! It's time for a boss fight! Versus Sword and Thorn! Round two! This time, however, Eco is facing off against them by herself. However, she's not alone in this fight, as you're about to see. Eco, you see a homie, Kubo! Okay! But in any case, Terra homing! Now, we got a new summon for Eco! Whoa! Oh shit! What the fuck is that? A lion? Damn! Obliterate! God damn! Where did that come from? 
to be by your side, Nico. So I became Mug. Don't worry. I'll always watch over you, Nico. Wow. Mug was an idolin this whole time! Wow. Damn, Eco wiped them the fuck out. Eco, Daijobu. I'm alright. But. Mug. Mug saved me. Mug's gone. I guess. I guess when Mug transformed into an Idolin, she can't stay in her Moogle form anymore. But her power's been transferred to Eco now. I, I never knew that Mug was an Idolin. You never knew that? She always looked after me, disguised as a Moogle. Even though, even though she was weak. But why did she disguise herself as a Moogle though? Why could she have stayed in Idolin to protect you? Or maybe Eco, or maybe Mug was an Idolin, but maybe her power wasn't awake wasn't able to be fully released until Ma, until Eco was in mortal danger. Huh. She fought her best to protect me. So that's what happened. Huh? What's this? Hey, that's Mug's Ribbon! Mug's Ribbon? Mug. But in the case, we get a new, we get a new item here. The Ribbon! Now, you can equip that on Eco. It will teach her her final summon in the game. Maiden, or Mid, or Medine, basically. It is basically Mug's summon, or yeah. She can summon Mug in battle now. However, Mug is, Mug isn't in the flesh anymore, I guess. It's all right, Eco. At least you still have her ribbon to remember her by. And plus, you can summon a giant ass, you can summon a giant ass Mug anytime you want. So Mug is still with you, in, in, in a way. She's still there with you, girl. Mug will always watch over you. You're right. Yeah, so cheer up, girl. How can, how can that... Kuja! That Moogle went into a trance? Kuja! Hmm. So the, an eruption of anger against one's surroundings induces a complete trance. Not, it's not the will to live, nor is it the desire to protect another. Man, you're really going off. Hello? That means I simply need a powerful soul, even if that soul is not my own. No, wait. And it can be found there. <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? What are you plotting? I'm done with you. Oh, but we're not quite done with you yet. Wait a minute. Whoa. Okay, so he has a barrier. Plot armor! Phoebe, look out! Don't worry, I hear these twins put on quite a good show. Of course, they're really not twins at all. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Ta-ta! Kuja! What about the black mages? Phoebe, don't go, it's so dangerous! Uh-oh, uh-oh! Uh-oh. Mike, something's wrong. I thought we defeated them! They're not quite dead yet, sir. No, in fact, they are fusing! It's time for a boss battle! Oh, fail. <laughs> it's time for a boss fight! Versus Multi Gemini! Yeah, Zorn and Thorn have combined! Oh my god, they are ugly! Fuck! Oh god! Yeah! Um, ugly! Um, 25,000 HP! Oh my god, just looking at it gives me the shivers. It gives me the shivers! Alright, still that bitch of shit, though. Alright, we got the vaccine. That's actually not what I wanted. But it's there. Alright, but yeah. Multi Gemini has viral smoke. That will inflict the virus status. Not a good status to carry. So, there you go. You can cure that with vaccines, by the way. Alright, Eco. Let's go and get off a... Um... Uh-oh. Bio! Can Vanessa kill that? Or, let I me mean, cure that? Yes, it can. Get Vanessa on yourself, girl. Alright, we got that. Get in another steal, and hopefully I can get lucky. Vanessa didn't work? Wow. Alright, we got the Demon Vest. Nice. Steiner, go one attack again. Ow! Bitch. Call your jets! 
Alright, perfecto! Alright, since Bernesa didn't work, let's try giving it a holy dance. Now, you might want to equip Devil Killer for this as well. Je Multi Gemini is a uh, demon class. So as such, Devil Killer is highly effective here. Alright. And then, holy light! Shine so bright! Woo! Look at that sexy damage! Alright. Who only has one more item to steal? Dude, are you done? Yeah, okay, thanks. Anybody protected us against that one. Damn! Didn't get it yet. Alright, uh... What strategy should I go about this guy? Alright, let's, all right, let's go and attack him. Sider, dead on. No! Shit! Ah! Oh, I forgot to get the other item. <laughs> Fuck. Oh well, just have to reload my save file. Damn it all. You can steal a gold hair pin from him, by the way. So there you go. Vivi, where's Kuja? He get away? Vivi? Everyone knew he was lying, but they still followed him. He said that our lifespans can't be extended, and that we were fools for believing him. Oh, that bastard. I I'm so sorry for all I've done. You guys don't have to apologize. Where are the others? They were so shocked to hear it that they're all sitting down over there. Mike, what am I supposed to tell them? I... I, I don't know, little dude. Vivi. Wow. Wait, Vivi, where are you going? All I can do is just sit with them. This is awful! I mean, it was obvious Kuja was lying, but... Man, pardon me, but is someone there? Uh, a woman? Where? What's this woman doing here? What's all this shit doing here? Who might you be? Where is that Kuja going? Uh, oh, him? He split, lady. What? You chased him away? I know not who you are, but you have my sincere gratitude. Uh, does Dagger know her? Could this be? Princess Garnet? It is you! Oh, how long has it been? I haven't seen your highness for ages. Why, look how you've grown. You got tits now. No. <laughs> so, whatever brought you to this dreadful place? Uh, who is this lady? What's a friend of yours doing here anyway? This is a dungeon. Oh, darling, Hilda, I finally found you. That's Hilda? Wow, convenient for Sid. I do not remember marrying a frog. Or Toad. Same thing. It's me, Ribbit. Sid! Of course, that mustache. It really is you. Mustache. No, no. Hilda, come back to the castle and return me to my former self, Ribbit. Dreadfully sorry, my sugar cup, but I surrender your favorite airship to a man named Kuja. I don't care about that, as long as you're all right. Oh, my sweet little froggy woggy. <laughs> so, um, you know Kuja? I'm going to make him pay. Please tell me all about him. Very well, my dear. I shall tell you everything once we reach Lindblom. Wow! What luck to find Sid's wife here of all places. Why was she there, though? Kuja didn't touch you, did he? His soul was filled with hate, but he was polite to me. Huh. Kuja, a gentleman? I'm shocked. He just talked an awful lot. Well, he is a villain, so, I mean, uh... About what, Ribbit? Well, he diverts his master plan to me. I didn't even have to ask. It was tiresome. Huh, <laughs> I bet it was. But what he spoke of, it was truly a scene from a nightmare. What did he say? That he was not of this world. He said his aim was to use this world to acquire an even more destructive power. The taking of Hildegard I was part of this process. We must tell Mike about this. You have valuable information. Which led me to believe that my abduction wasn't part of his plan. He was a hopeless narcissist, but at least he wasn't a skirt chaser like you. 
Uh, you hurt me where it hurts most. I'm sorry, Ribbit. That's why I risked my life to rescue you. Oh, really? Are you sure you weren't there to take back your Hildegard one? Ooh, no. I'm not lying. I apologize, Ribbit. So please turn me back. I'm sick of being an Agat or a frog. I'll never cheat on you ever again. I promise, Ribbit. Hmm. Can your words be trusted? I do not lie. I swear on my father's life. Er, a name. Fail. <laughs> All right, I'll turn you back. Ah. But it's going to be much worse if you ever cheat on me again. Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't piss her off, Sid. <laughs> Maybe I'll turn you into a warthog pie. No! No! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. And with that, just like in the fairy tales, the princess kisses the frog, and the frog returns to normal. Or becomes a man. So there you go. Or a woman. Depending on the kind of fairy tale you like to read. Finally, Ribbit, I'm human again. Oh, I can now concentrate on building Hildegard 3! Yeah! I got a dick again! Uh... <laughs> uh, darn it. I must stop that. Damn! Sid looks, like, really tall. L look at those thighs! Mm, not bad. I must stop that. Dear, I'm sorry about everything, Hilda. Oh, The couple is reunited. Now that Sid has a dick again, we can finally get a new airship. I hope. Can always hope for miracles. Mike. Huh? Dagger? Mr. Mike. Why are you calling me Mr. Mike? Mr. Mike, please get up. Uh huh? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, it's just a dream. Uh, what's up? Uh, La M Lady Hilda has called a meeting. Please go to the conference room. Oh, I wish I could have dreamt a bit longer. You had to fuck it up. Huh? Uh, I mean, nothing. Don't worry about it. It's nothing. Thanks, dude. Oh, boy. In the case, back to Limbloom again. <laughs> wow. In the case, Mookie, you got a new letter? There you go. Come on. Come on! No, 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 no. That's a different come on. But yeah, Kamu is a new Moogle, but we haven't gone to that area yet where he is. Alrighty then. Now we gotta go and see Sid. I'll meet you guys. Uh, I, I think I know where he is. Be right back. Oh, yeah, 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 in the meeting room. Be right back. I'll meet you there. Alright, viewers, I'm back. Oh, man. Then he can't. Woo! Who's that guy? It's Regent Sid, dummy. Wh what? <laughs> Still haven't got any matters, Rip. Uh. Ahem. <clears throat> Still haven't learned your matters. Mind your P's and Q's now. You can stop the frog talk now. S Silence, Ribbit. Oh, well. <laughs> Phoebe laughing. Uh, I didn't gather you all to talk about that. I called for this meeting to tell you about what I learned while I was in Kuja's captivity. It may provide a, a hint on where he might be. Listen carefully. Uh, I don't see the princess. Hmm. I, I, I shall look for her. I'll begin constructing Hildegard 3. The blue Norses will be used for its construction. Aw, uh, no more sea travel? Damn you, Sid. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. It's actually better. Now, Hilda, you tell the rest. Hilda? Hmm. So, what did Kuja discuss with you? Some parts of the story may be hard to believe, but please hear me out. Kuja plans to use this world as a means of acquiring an even greater power. Huh? Excuse me? Greater power? What would he do with it? I don't know. He indicated he was, wasn't was of this world. <gasps> Gasp! Nani? So, Kuja's an alien? Pretty much. What? We call all world Gaia. But he called his birthplace Terra. Terra? You mean that planet that we heard about at Almaverd? Terra, huh? Yeah, what is Terra? We we have we barely really know that much about it outside of the history lesson we got from Almaverd. Hmm. In any case, ah, the Tantalus boys. How are their bears going? 
They're going really slow. So if we can't rush them, everything will probably fall apart again. We're not getting anywhere. I've been up here forever. I want to switch places with someone. I guess the damage is a lot worse than we expected. Huh? She's not here either. Where could she be? Yo! How's it going, Mr. Tan Man? Oh, it's only you. What the fuck's that mean? Why are you all gathered here? Are you skimming another abduction or something? <laughs> hey, watch your mouth! We're just discussing ways to restore this district. Yeah! <laughs> Old timer, you got us all wrong. You got nothing on us. We're just trying to rebuild our home, that's all. Pretty much. What are you doing here? From the looks on your face, it seems like you got problems. Something's troubling you? Maybe we can help. Uh, can I really trust you? Steiner, you've been with Zidane with how long now? Come on now. Yeah. The princess is missing. She's not in the castle, so I figured she would be in town. Why don't you go back to the castle before you get lost? What? We'll find her. This is like our backyard. Alright, you heard me. Get moving. Yes, sir. You have my gratitude. Uh, no problem. Finally, Baku and Steiner are getting along. It's about time. Bit late on it. This terror seems to be connected to a place called the Shimmering Island. Shimmering I- Oh, right! That was near East Ogaza! I don't know where Kuja went, but maybe we can find them if we go there. Unfortunately, you can't go directly to Terra from the Shimmering Island. So how do we get there? Of course you can't. Everyone would have discovered this other world by now if it were that easy. So what do we do? I'll tell you. Okay. The gateway that connects the two worlds is sealed, but Kucha said there is a place where the seal can be broken. Breaking the sea. Breaking, yeah, pretty much. Where is that? He said it's an old castle located in the northern area of the Forgotten Continent. Oh, I might, oh yeah, that castle that we saw while we were digging for choco grass. I remember that. We could have went there, actually, but there wouldn't have been anything near. Sequence break. An explorer left a record of his trip to this particular castle on the Forgotten Continent. If I remember correctly, he wrote that the cliffs were too steep to explore. Other than that, very little is known about the Forgotten Continent. Well, since this castle doesn't have a name, let's call it Ibsen's Castle. Ibsen's Castle? Just like the story that Zidane told Dagger back in this, too. Huh. Well, there you go. Yeah, we don't know anything about the world beyond our continent. Well, there might be a way to fix that issue. With this ATE! Recovery. Hey, boys! How's it going? I got my dick! So, how's the ship coming along? Region, you're human again! Yeah, my dick's as big as ever! Yeah! So, we can concentrate on building the ship. Judging by our experience with Hilda 2, we're almost finished with the engine. We're having problems with the construction of the hull, though. Yeah, so thinking about using parts of the Blue Norses for the body. How come? Hmm. I realized that the Blue Norses was a well-built well ship when I rode in it. There are other reasons, but we must hurry. I already have a, a completed blueprint in my head. Do as I tell you and it'll be completed in no time. Let's get ready! Yes, sir! Roger! Alright! Looks like we might be getting a new airship! I hope. That's all I heard. Hmm. You may find a clue if you go to Ibsen's castle. Okay, so we have a new plot destination. Good to know. Did you ask Kuja about all this? These are things he volunteered, discussed voluntarily. And so he just blurted it all out? He became very impassioned as he spoke. And he volunteered information without me even asking. Huh. He is a narcissist after all, so it sounds about right. He probably thought telling me his plans wouldn't affect his grand scheme. Of course, because you're not a main protagonist, so... <laughs> He's right, his power is great and we're at a disadvantage. But I can't forgive Kuji, he toyed with my friend's lives. Now we know where we need to go. The problem is getting there. I guess what we'll to wait until Sid finishes the airship. Mike, I bring troubling news. What what now? The, the armor shop out of your favorite armor? I cannot find the princess. I looked all over Limploom. 
The members of Tansel has aided me in my search, but she's not in Limplo. Then there's only one other place. Do you know where she is? I think so. You guys wait here in Limplo. I'll be right back. Uh. Whoa! <laughs> so where is Dagger then? If there's Alexandria, where are you guys going? We're going to look for Dagger. Is there anywhere else we need to look? No, we already looked over there already. Go someplace we haven't looked yet. Sin is so demanding. True, true. Why would Dagger be back here in Alexandria? How did they get here so fast? Huh. Hey, Ruby. Blake, Marcus, how y'all doing? We're doing all right. It's, it's, well, business is slow. How, I mean, how, how's business, Ruby? Well, the money ain't no good, but I'm having fun. I like it. That's great, even though you'll probably be poor. In any case, our hideout in Limboom got completely destroyed. It's going to take a miracle to fix the place. Bro, we better... Oh, sorry. We came to Alexandria for a reason. Have you seen Dagger? Dagger? No, I ain't seen her. What about her? You fixing to kidnap her again? No, we're just looking for her this time. I was only kidding, Marcus. I'll ask the patrons to be on the lookout. Thanks, Ruby. I wonder if Zidane is here with these good old boys. Hmm, maybe he is, maybe he isn't, who knows. This is strange. I'm, I was sure she'd be back here in Alexandria. They never explained how he got back here, by the way. Where can I look? Hmm. Hey, Mike, I've been looking for you. Boss, have you seen, have you found Dagger? Nah, I can't find her anywhere. I didn't find Dagger, but I think I saw that chick. What chick? Yeah, that chick. I'm gonna check again. Wait, who are you talking about? So, he found some random chick. Okay. So, where is this chick, boss? Is she here? She was standing over there just a second ago. Over there? Dagger? <gasps> this thing, could it be? Beatrix! She's alive! Is that who I think it is? Uh... What the fuck? She was just here! Did they pass each other? <laughs> wow! Uh, uh, over there! Can people just stop moving for a second? Wow, that is sad. <laughs> Comic relief. Still alive, eh? You are Baku. Yep, I'm the man that abducted your princess. Let's forget about that. It happened a long time ago. You got a big heart, unlike that knucklehead Steiner. No wonder the women are running the show here. <laughs> Boss, you must have seen Beatrix. Hey! How's it going? As you can see, Alexandria was completely destroyed. Yeah, I can see that. It's a, it, it, it's a wreck. Steiner and I did our best to protect Alexandria, but our efforts were in vain. Steiner was so worried about you. Why haven't you contacted him? Dagger's still in shock. She's been mute since the attack. She is? Then it be it'd be better for her not to return to the city for a while. It won't do her any good to see Alexandria like this. Well, here's the thing. We can't find her. I thought she'd be back here, but I can't find her anywhere. She's back in Alexandria? But she's nowhere to be found? Have you have you looked in the resting place? Resting place? Yes, if she's back in Alexandria, I'm certain that she will be there. Oh, Bronze Grave! Of course! There are a couple of favors I'd like to ask you. What is it? If you see the princess, please tell her not to worry about Alexandria. She must take care of herself first. Sure, what else? I'd like you to give her something. A cornet! What? What does that teach her? Maybe it will help the princess get through this time of uncertainty. A cornet? Hmm. Could it be? Hmm. Ah, I figured she'd be here. I've been looking for you, Dagger. Made us all worry. Dagger? 
Mike! Oh my gosh, you can speak again! You can talk again? Hmm. I... I've been thinking since the disaster. I've been thinking that I have to become a queen to bring peace back to Alexandria. That's why I came back here, but... Can I stay with you guys for a while longer? Can I ask why? When my mother was still alive, my primary concern was how to talk and look like a princess. Those were the only things on my mind. That didn't change when my mother died and I was about to become a queen. I only thought about how to look and act like a queen. I don't think that people will accept me as their queen the way I am right now. I don't know about that. I have no right to rule over this country. Hmm. <sighs> oh yeah, almost forgot. Beatrix wanted me to give this to you. Here. Zidane, you could have broke it if she didn't catch it. Is this a garnet? That's right, isn't it pretty? It's beautiful. Yeah, it really is beautiful. Because it teaches Dagger the Bahamut Summon, bitches! Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, it's Bahamut in the stone. That gem used to be just another ordinary stone. The stone made a wish. I want to shine. The stone traveled from person to person in keeping with its wish. And now it's shining in your hand, Dagger. If you're willing to make an effort, you'll shine too someday. The day will come when Alexandria needs you. There's no rush. The important thing is to have the desire. Zidane is so... He is such a sweet... He is such a sweet talker. <laughs> but that was really soothing words. Thanks. I have to apologize for using you guys as an excuse to run away from my responsibilities. Hey, what's important is that you honestly want to stay with us. Hmm. Mike, can I borrow that knife again? Which one? The one that helped me make my last big decision. Whoa! I'm borrowing this. What are you going to do with it? Mike, remember the way I was for me. <gasps> Dagger? Where are you going? What is she doing? Oh, now I get it. She's cutting her hair to break from her past. Wow. That is so sim Th that is so symbolic. Nice haircut. <laughs> Good. I am so proud of her for the how far that she's come since the game started. She's come a long way. She got her voice back. She got a haircut. Breaking, breaking free from her past. And yeah, now Dagger is a worthwhile party member again. With Bahamut. So... I'm assuming that's the airship. Wow. So fucking awesome. We got an airship, finally. What happened? What happened to your hair? Princess, what have you done? I know. Mike broke your heart, didn't he? How could he? Is that true? Whoa, hold on. Don't jump to conclusions. Mike's right, Eco. Huh? Dagger, you can talk again? Yes, I'm sorry I made you all worry. It's okay, but your hair, it was so beautiful. Short hair doesn't suit me. But no, 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 you look great. You look great. Now I have very uh, No, 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 competition. Uh, no, no, uh, no. Thanks, Eco. It's still too early to celebrate. Erin, you know our destination? Yes, Ibsen's castle on the Forgotten Continent. That's right, we'll go there and find a way to enter Terra through the Shimmering Island. I'm sure we'll find out more about what's going on once we reach Terra. Yeah, and hopefully we'll learn what Kuja wants to achieve. The location on Ibsen's castle has been marked on the map based on Lady Hilda's information. Please check it by selecting um, Select after we depart. You can also press X on the bright spots on the map, and the ship will take you there automatically. You can also check how to maneuver the 
shit when it makes the reference to triangle by the large button to map this out. Excuse me. Please let me know if you'd like to switch out your party members. I shall assist you in any way that I can during your journey. You, you don't have to be so formal, dude. Let's just relax and enjoy our flight. Right. Vinny Gaze, all right! We got an airship! Yes! And then again, since Dagger just got um, Bombman, I want to start working on that right away. Uh, since Eco just got Medine, I want to start working on that right away. So Dagger, Eco, and I want to bring Freya in because I need to get some or learn some of those little abilities for her. So there you go. We are all set. We finally got an airship, the Hildegard Three. Now, viewers, now that we got the airship, we can also go and find those last remaining Choco Grab pieces. So yeah, once we get the airship, the last two jungle grab pieces will be able to be dug up now. I still have to find the other one I wasn't able to get before now. So, all screen between this and the next episode, I'm going to go back to the forest and the lagoon, see if I can find the last remaining jungle grab pieces. And next time, viewers, on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX, we got more side quests to do. If you guys enjoy it, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for gaming biz with me. Hit the bell to notify when I upload new stuff on YouTube. That's something to say, leave a comment. So next time, do do this, my race break game, and I hope your race breaks. Have a good day, bros, and rosettes, smell you later. In the air!